hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel so on today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how i created this diy hair mask using banana yes you heard it right banana so if you would be interested in seeing how i created this hair mask then please keep on watching I know you feeling this Come closer to me And I'll come closer to you so guys, in case you haven't heard of the benefit of a banana hair mask, it helps to improve the hair texture, promotes hair growth and thickness, and also controls dandruff and prevents split ends and dry brittle hair. So if you haven't already, I would definitely highly recommend you to give this banana hair mask a try. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. So to start off with our DIY banana hair mask, I'm going to be using banana you want to make sure that the banana is nice and ripe that way you're going to get the best results and next i'm going to be using moringa powder so if you're returning viewer to my channel you know that i love using moringa powder in my hair mask so it has iron and zinc in it which help promote healthy hair follicle and also prevent hair loss so i just love using that in my hair mask next i'm going to be using coconut milk so coconut milk is a natural conditioner it helps to uh, moisturize the hair and maintain its sheen uh, it will also soften the hair and make it smoother and next i'm going to be using uh, jamaican black castor oil this will help to moisturize thicken and strengthen um, the hair and it also helps with breakage as well next I'm going to be adding olive oil. So olive oil is one of the oil that actually penetrates the hair shaft and it preserves uh, moisture and soften um, the hair. So I'm going to be adding olive oil to this mix as well. And lastly, I'm going to be adding a few drops of essential oil. So you can use any essential oil that you have. So I'm going to be taking my banana and peeling it. And then I'm gonna take my uh, blender. You can use any blender that you have. Chop the banana in pieces. This will help with the blending. Then I'm gonna take my coconut milk and add like one or two cup, depending on the quantity that you want. Um, I went ahead and used two cups of coconut milk. And the consistency of the coconut milk is nice and thick, as you can see here. Um, it doesn't have an overbearing uh, coconut smell to it so that's good and then I'm gonna add my moringa powder to it as well then I'm gonna go in with two tablespoons of the Jamaican black castor oil two tablespoons of the olive oil And then I'm gonna add 10 drops of the essential oil. And then I'm gonna blend it for one minute. So after blending it, you wanna take a bowl and a sifter. And then you wanna go ahead and uh, pour out the mix into the bowl make sure that you do use a sifter for this or else you're gonna get the um, little banana pieces tucked in your hair it's gonna be a hassle washing it out so just make sure that you sift it and your hair mask is good to go so I am gonna be applying this hair mask to my um, cornrows to my braids yes this is a lazy girl method <laughs> I have my hair in a protective style, currently wearing a wig, but I do want to still deep condition my hair and make sure that it's nice and moisturized. As you can see, the consistency is nice and smooth and you can just go ahead and apply it right on. So I'm just going to be applying it on my hair, on my braids, make sure that I get into um, the parting and just saturate my hair with this goodness. So guys, I actually wanted to use this uh, mask for my daughter, Destiny, 
but um she was not in the mood <laughs> you know how these toddlers are she was not in the mood um so i just went ahead and applied on my own hair and i must say i love 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 the way um this hair mask made my hair feel afterwards so um, also focusing on um, the ends you want to get your ends nice and coated uh, and don't forget to apply it on your nape area right there to the back and also make sure to get your edges we want all this goodness in our hair Then I'm going to take this bin bag and just uh, put it onto my hair. I'm also going to apply this hair scarf to ensure that there is no leakage and that the product doesn't um, run down my face while I'm going to bed. So after securing that on, I'm just going to go to bed. And this is me the next morning. So I did an overnight treatment, uh, as I mentioned in one of my previous videos. I love to do overnight treatments with my hair mask. So this is how it's looking like. All the product has marinated and has seeped through. As you can see here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and rinse out this product. You wanna make sure to rinse it out well because any residue of banana on your scalp can lead to irritation or to a itchy scalp and we don't want that. So if you need to, you can go ahead and also shampoo it out. But I just chose to rinse it out properly and my hair felt so soft at the ends. My uh, my ends were so defined and so curled. So I'm definitely gonna give this a try when I have my hair out and see how it's gonna look like. So I air dried my hair and then went ahead and uh, applied some leave-in conditioner, some oils. And now I'm just going to braid my ends and put on my wig cap. And basically I'm going to transform into this. So yeah guys, I like to use wigs as a protective style, especially during the colder months, just to keep my ends uh, and my hair tucked away. So yeah guys, this basically brings us to the end of today's video. I thought I'd come on here and share a quick um, DIY hair mask that you can use. So if you're gonna give it a try, please make sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know how you like it. And so if you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to hit the like button down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and turn on the post notification bell so you never miss any of my uploads. And until my next video, bye guys!